This afternoon, we have uh, the pleasure to talk uh, about uh, the child participation. It's a, a continuation of the previous session that we devoted to the child uh, protection in Brussels to Terre. Um, we will uh, be, uh, we will have the, the honor to have uh, um, Francesca Maoli, uh, uh, Robert Fucic, and uh, Adrian Vasquez Lazzara speaking today. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll try also to have the time uh, for a reaction to the very interesting comments that uh, uh, the previous session uh, left to us. Uh, let me just uh, sum up what we have said in the last uh, session. Uh, we focused on the best interest of the child as the driver of the new regulation. We found out that uh, uh, this uh, changed uh, uh, very much uh, the attention that the regulation provides for the concrete situation of the family and of child. We made the two examples of child abduction and of the cross-border placement. And today we focus more on child participation. So we will look at the hearing of the child, the change uh, that uh, the regulation has made in this regard uh, under Article 21 and its connection with the assessment of the best interest of the child. So how these two uh, concepts, uh, these two principles uh, interact. But we will also have the chance to consider child participation, uh, direct child participation, by looking at the cases uh, like uh, Article 56 in the new regulation, giving the chance, uh, uh, if national law uh, so provides, for the child to take a direct action or by virtue of uh, uh, a person representing the interests of the child.